so I'm out and about on this beautiful day. I am going for a walk. I know right now I look like I'm in my car, but don't worry, I'm going for a walk. I've been sitting all day, just like you. So join me on this adventure in my neighborhood. So guys, today I wanted to talk about mental health a little bit. I am not an expert, I am not a professional, but I have heard some pretty good advice and tips on mental health. And especially being in a pandemic, it's important, right? Okay, <clears throat> I was struggling a little bit to walk while carry a camera, while carry a book or notes. So we're gonna sit here and talk about it. So I want to share with you a couple of things that I learned. I don't take credit for any of this. So I want to share maybe two or three things that we can do, two small things that we can do to improve our mental health. Number one, our feelings are a response to our thoughts and actions. So in a way, I know a lot of times people say, you can't control what you feel, you just can't, right? But actually, if you change your thoughts, your feelings will follow. Let's say you're put in an unfortunate situation where it's like something was taken away from you or something wrong was done to you. Initially, your thought is gonna be, that's not fair or I don't like that. And so you're gonna feel bad, you're gonna feel sad, you're gonna feel upset. But let's say you decide to have a different thought. What if you decide to think instead, well, I'm grateful for the things that I do have. And so why is this important? Why is it important to know that our feelings are a response to our thoughts and actions? Because that means you can affect them. You can decide to think a certain way or you can decide to do a certain thing and that will impact your feelings. Let me give you an example. I was in the house. Before making this video, I was in the house and I was feeling a little bit stressed out, overwhelmed, upset. And I was feeling all these things and I said, you know what, let me go for a walk. We're supposed to grieve, we're supposed to feel whatever we need to feel, but we're not supposed to stay stuck in these negative feelings. We can impact the way that we feel. So I no longer feel stressed out. I no longer feel upset. I no, no longer feel overwhelmed. I feel relaxed. I feel happy, I feel great. Second thing, when it comes to stress and when it comes to emotional pain. When it comes to stress, think short term. What do I mean by that? Well, a lot of times when we're stressed out, we're stressed because we're thinking about all of the different things that we have to do and we have to accomplish and we're overwhelmed. I gotta graduate, I have to make sure I get these scholarships, I'm trying to get into this school, I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting the grades that I need so that I can get into this high school or get into this college. Well, when you're stressed out, think about the next immediate thing. Don't think long term. Like let's say you're thinking about your college career. Well, in this moment, you have a homework assignment. Complete that homework assignment and focus on that homework assignment alone. And if it's difficult for you to get up, you know, get up, take a break, take breaks when you need. But when it comes to stress, think short term. Don't overwhelm yourself with a whole lot of long-term things, right? When it comes to emotional pain, think long term okay so when we experience emotional pain a lot of times we want quick relief from that emotional pain we want something to immediately end what we are feeling right and so sometimes in the midst of that emotional pain we can do things or think things that are actually not helpful to our to our long term our long term health the last thing that i will say when it comes to um, taking care of our mental health is to create. We were created in the image of God. We were created in the image of a creator. And so let's reflect that in the way that we live. There's so many different things that you have the ability to create. And so many of you are so artistic and so creative or just have these amazing talents and skills. And so you were created to create. It's like a way to have an outlet. Let's say if you have just some emotions that you feel like your words cannot articulate. Well, you can create a song or you can create a poem or you can do something 
that gives a greater expression to what you are feeling and thinking. So those are my three tips for you. Our feelings are a response to our thoughts and actions. When you're stressed, think short term. When you're experiencing emotional pain, think long term. And lastly, create. So those are my tips about how we can be proactive about taking care of our mental health in the midst of a pandemic. Love y'all.